Hi, in this video, what I want to do is uh, test five different audio recording mechanisms to use with the Surface Pro 3. The first is the Surface Pro 3 itself. The second is the Blue Nessie uh, microphone. The third is a Microsoft headset. The fourth is a Blue Snowflake portable uh, USB microphone. And the fifth is the Apple earbud headphones. The reason I want to go through and make this video is to show people the difference in the audio quality that is available using each of these methods. They're, they range from no additional cost to quite a lot of additional cost. But one of the things I learned really early on in my time in making videos for students was that the students said that the audio quality was one of the most important things because they listen to it on the bus, they listen to things in a crowd environment at home, and they said that the best thing, the most important thing was the audio to start with. So right now you're listening to me through the Blue Nessie microphone. This is probably the most expensive out of all of the gear. It's a really high quality microphone. It's got um, an audio uh, monitoring jack at a real time so I can actually wear headphones and hear exactly how I'm sounding at the time. It also has uh, a mute switch at the bottom which has a zero sound mute switch so I can mute myself and, and unmute myself if I want to during the recording. It's got a volume knob on the bass so I can rotate and make myself louder or softer in my headphones. And it's also got um, multiple selected uh, uh, patterns when it's being used. So it goes from uh, no processing to um, a music uh, mode, which is a stereo, uh, to surround, which is uh, all the way around the microphone. So it's got some really good quality features. Inside it's got some really nice smarts as well. It's got a pop filter on the front so that it doesn't get any sort of harsh sounds from any of the harsh sounds that I make when I'm speaking. It's got a shock mount around the microphone elements so we don't get any noise from um, the bass here um, as I touch anything. And then it's also got um, uh, some noise suppression and noise cancelling technology built into it, some electronics, which is really sweet. Uh, the bass is also uh, a suction cup so it sticks to any of the surfaces. So that's the Blue Nessie and next what I'll do is I'll try the Microsoft headset. Okay, now you're hearing me through the Microsoft LifeChat LX3000 which I'm obviously wearing on my head. This is a headset microphone um, and the earphones don't actually give me audio feedback as I'm speaking. They are only for if I'm playing something back on the computer. So that's just important that you realise these aren't monitoring headphones. This has the advantages that it actually keeps uh, the microphone always the same different distance from my mouth. So obviously as I move my head around it's doing a pretty good job of staying with me as you would expect. Uh, on the stem itself it's got some controls. I can increase or decrease the volume when I'm listening to playback, not when I'm recording, but I do have a handy mute button that I can press so I can mute myself as I'm, as I'm talking. Um, I really like this headset because of its portability. I also like it for video conferencing because then what you can have is you can be listening to what other people are saying through the headphones. You can um, be have a really good audio quality going through to them at the other end and you don't have to worry about the amount of setup you would with something like the Blue Nessie with the extra headphones. Although if I'm at home where this setup lies, I'll always use that instead. Um, this is very portable. I usually throw this in my bag and we're able to use it from there. Okay, so now you're hearing me through the Blue Snowflake. The Blue Snowflake is a very, very portable um, USB microphone. It folds flat and it's got a little holder. It ends up being just a tiny little box that shape. Um, the cable is a standard USB cable but it unplugs from it all and so this is one I always have in my backpack because it does quite good audio for very little sort of overhead as far as carrying things around. Um, it's a single element. It doesn't have any of the smarts that the Blue Nessie has. It's got um, only just the, the single element I believe inside there. No shock mount, no pop guard um, and it's um, none of the electronics. You can't do any audio monitoring or anything like that but quite a different price point. Um, so very affordable and quite good quality audio uh, given its price. Okay, so the fourth one we're about to do is the Apple headset. Okay, so now I'm recording using the Apple earbuds. Um, again, the earphones don't actually give me any feedback when I'm using them like this. They only pick up the audio from playing something back on the computer, uh, but really useful for video conferencing and that sort of stuff. I was just using the microphone here, and um, these have, in my opinion, pretty terrible audio, um, but every Apple device comes with these, um, and all the students have these. So it's well worth actually listening to things back on these. Um, they're 
pretty notoriously bad though for recording audio, um, as no doubt you are seeing in this video. Okay, uh, one left to try, and that's the Surface Pro 3 itself. So you're now listening to me through the Surface Pro 3. The Surface Pro 3 hasn't got a terrible microphone, it's just not fantastic either, but it is always with you when you have your Surface Pro 3, so you can always be recording things as you're going. Um, one of the things that you'll notice, if I start drawing on the screen and start doing things, it does get very, 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 very uh, noisy as I go through because obviously the screen is attached to the microphone and that noise is just transmitted. That's actually one of the main reasons I started looking at external microphones when I was doing this because the students were reporting back that level of noise. Then they gave me the feedback about audio quality, so I thought I'm going to do the best I possibly can uh, because I think the more we make these videos accessible to the students, the better the videos are and they will be received. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, five different ways of recording audio into the Surface Pro 3. The Blue Nessie, which you're hearing me through again now. The Microsoft VX3000 headset. The Blue Snowflake the Apple earbud microphones, a uh, headphone, sorry, and of course the Surface Pro 3 itself. Each have their advantages, each have their disadvantages. My pick any day of the week is the Blue Nessie. Um, that's why you're hearing it now. It has really superb audio quality, but you do have to pay for that. Uh, the headset by Microsoft, amazing uh, for video conferencing and for portability. The Snowflake, again, really good for portability um, and it can really fit anywhere. Um, the Headphones from um, Apple, they'll, they'll do the job. They're not really that quality, but every student has one of those. So I, I really encourage people to test out what things sound like through those, but not so good for recording. And of course, the Surface Pro itself can record audio quite competently, but just not at the quality of something like this. So until next time.